what is going on guys? Well, MJ's one aka King Marcus here with a bit of the video and uh, what is going on guys? Uh, I'm back. Uh, I'm back with the video. It's been a couple days. I'm trying to get back on that grind, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so we got a uh, new video, the top 10 Jujutsu Kaisen anime moments. Also, before we get started with this video guys, be, be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel and everything. You guys have been showing a lot of love on the videos lately. Now, I do want to talk about one specific video that is the Geek... You guys know I can't pronounce his name. Geek Gug <laughs> Hey guys, listen. Now, uh, a lot of you guys had issues with how I was reacting with uh, the Geek Gawk video. Um, and that's fine. I, I mean, I, I look, I can look back at the video myself and say, yeah, I, I, I probably should have done it a little bit differently. Um, I, I, cause I, was, I was kind of going off and on topic of the video. Um, and you guys didn't really, you guys were really upset about that. So I want to quickly address that. I am sorry about that. Uh, it's just that, for one, uh, when Gigog was talking, he was talking about animes that I actually need to catch up on. <laughs> he brought up some, and like, oh, like, this. like, when he brought up My Hero, I forgot My Hero Season 5 even came out, bro. I forgot about that. <laughs> he brought up My Hero Season 5, I forgot about that, and then he was talking about, uh, uh Kanasuba, and I forgot about that. Uh... What else? Then he talked about Megolo Box Season 2. I'm like, wait, Season 2? When did that shit come out? And so I started looking at that. Hey, JoJo, he started talking about, like, oh, I'm already caught up with JoJo, but, like, he was talking about enemies. I'm like, yo, I need I need to start, and I need to catch Like, Tokyo Revengers. I just started Tokyo Revengers, like, yesterday. I just started Tokyo, I, and I'm caught up with that. It's only two episodes out, but I'm caught up with that. And I was watching, what's that one anime with the wolf and everything? With the uh the kid and a the wolf, they're out there like in a freaking Antarctica or some shit. Like the sad, it's like a very sad anime. That I just started watching that. That anime is freaking fire, bro. I love like the connection, and I I can't I can't remember things. I literally just started watching it like yesterday, and um the connection between the kid and the wolf is it, like it's so emotional, and the development that those two the, the they, they both go through, bro. Like oh my gosh, man, it's freaking crazy, man. And at one part, when the, when the kid was hugging the wolf, saying, yo, I didn't mean it, let's go back, let's go back. And they were traveling with, like, the freaking, uh, it was like a snow blizzard going on. And the, boy, and the snow blizzard going on, the dude got, and the kid, like, got knocked down and everything. And stuff like that. I'm like, yo, I forgot his, listen, I'm not, <laughs> uh, I can't remember the names. But, y'all, but if you guys watch it, you guys know what I'm talking about. But, yo, that was crazy. And, uh, yeah, and, yeah, so I didn't want to just, uh, just sit there. Another thing. You guys are saying, like, oh, all I do is just talk and not react. When Gigog was, sorry, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be honest. When Gigog was making jokes, I don't think, he was making, like, he was making a lot of jokes. I didn't really find those jokes really funny. I'm going to be really, really honest with you. Those jokes were not funny. So I, I, I kind of, I didn't want to just sit there and be like this. I kind of wanted to just, 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 just to talk, kind of talk. Because, like, when he was talking, saying, I'm like, yo, these are not funny. They're not funny. They're, like those jokes were not funny. Um, uh, he's funny. Don't get me wrong. He's funny, but the jokes he was saying, they, they just. I'm like, okay. <laughs> uh, but I love Geek, bro. I watched that. That's the reason why I watch those videos. Are, is because uh, he puts me onto anime. I need to start back up again and uh, and start and just and end up starting like kind of restarting everything. You know, that's one reason why I watch his nut, like, I watch his nut show, but it's like, yo, I'm like, yo, he's picked one of the new anime shows. That's why I find out a lot of these about these anime, it's because of him, you know? But, uh, I mean, I think, I feel like you guys are being a little bit too extra. I'm like, yo, somebody called me a freaking ca casual. <laughs> I thought it was the funniest thing. Um, not like in a mean way, but I just thought it was, I just thought it was funny. Um, Oh uh, yeah, but I must rather talk. Listen, I must rather talk and just kind of like have a, like a conversation with my viewers and everything, than just sit there and not be. I, I, I'll talk, guys. I'm an energetic guy. I can be like when it comes down to like certain things, I can be a little bit energetic, and everything. I can be like if I see something that really like like hypes me up. I just see something like oh man, I talk about it and I'll stay on that topic for like a while instead of being on the topic of video. So that's my fault. I do gotta do better with that. That's not the only time somebody called me out on that. Um. But yeah, man, I mean, it is what it is, man. It's, I'm all, I'm happy. We're good. Um, we're okay. We're all good, man. Uh, uh yeah, I mean, I'm happy. like I said, the video's doing well and stuff like that. But um, man, we'll see what happens with everything. Uh, we got, I got two videos coming out today. I got this video right here, and I got um, uh, I got uh, my oh, my hero season one in five minutes. So that that team four star dropped yesterday. So we're gonna check this out. I was I was I really. 
I actually had to catch up with Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen yesterday. I was actually just marathoning the mess out that. So, uh, let's say, so I can't wait to get started with this video right here and see what we got cooking up, man. Right, top 10 Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm about to say something. Yo, yo. This right here. One of the best. Anime, anime fights of this I'm year, bro. It's just the animation, everything about this fight. Yep. See, man, my man Gojo, he's go toe to toe. We're gonna be talking about one of my favorite new gen shonen anime, yes. Jujutsu Kaisen. There are many reasons why people just can't seem to get enough of Jujutsu Kaisen. I love and this, and bro, don't, don't get me started with that list. opening and ending, my boys. Jujutsu Kaisen moments, and if you haven't been watching the show yet, it would be great if this list encourages you to give this title a shot. Before we move on to the start of the list, I'd like now, to encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Eat a like. I'm not fully caught up with you guys in really yet. I'm still behind, but I'm not that far behind. So, spoiler, I mean, I don't really care. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be hyped about it for the rise of spoilers and shit. Oh, I remember this. Yo, I'm like, yo, when I saw him, I'm like, yo, this dumb ass. <laughs> like, what is you doing? Such a thing isn't a problem for Jujutsu Kaisen, who right off the bat gives us a pretty nice introduction to Yuji and his background. Bro. However, heroes are born in crowning moments, like Ichigo slicing fishbone yeah. with his newfound powers. Bro, when I saw Yuji do that, bro. It's in the in the introduction to the series. Completely outmatched against the curse, Yuji nevertheless continues to fight on in as badass of a manner as an ordinary human can do. It takes big guts to do what Yuji does. Yeah, I mean, yeah, when I saw him, like, yo, what is you doing? Man of eating the finger and feels the consequences of that action. Talk yeah. about badass normal here. It's such a strong sequence to Please end the first episode that it left many people Demon wanting Yuji. more Jujutsu Kaisen. Bro. This is what, yo. When I saw it, I'm like, yo, yo, Yuji is a freaking monster, bro. Following that, we have Yuji. Panda versus Mechamaru. Oh, man, I remember this part. Yep. This was freaking amazing, bro. Like, yo. When I saw Panda, I'm like, when I, I don't know. When I first saw Panda, when they first showed up, I'm like, yo, who is this guy, man? Who, Panda, like, like, well, and when they showed the him against, like, like, in his freaking all buff boy form, I'm like, like, yo, Panda that bull. The and when I saw that, I'm like, yo, I remember, I was in my room, I was playing my game, and I was, like, just so hyped up, bro. I was, yeah, I was playing my game, I was, I got, I watched the anime, it was dope. And I was just so pumped up when I saw this, bro. I could not believe it. Bro, the animation. Bro, my man's is panda. Bro, this was so beautiful. This was so beautiful. Well done, bro. And he took his ass up. Then he... Then he yeah. Speaking of emotional them, fights in the Goodwill event arc, how about the battle between Mario and... That should be high, honestly. I don't think that's... That should be, like, top five, man. Oh yeah, 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 yeah! I remember this. Two siblings separated by the different yet very similar paths they took. That alone is an ingredient for a very emotionally charged confrontation between the twin sisters, and it would all come to head in the Goodwill event arc. The pent-up feelings of jealousy and love finally erupt as they take the stage for battle, both carrying fatal flaws in their abilities. This is a beautiful though. No, this is nice for a gun. Like yo, honestly, I, I, yo, when I saw this, bro, and seeing her just like kind of slice stuff through the bullets and stuff like that, and with the animation looking crisp. And everything, and bro, when I saw this, bro, I'm like, yo, Jujutsu Kaisen is a top tier anime, dog. Hands down, my favorite. This is my, I like, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Probably more so a little bit than Attack on Titan. I'm gonna be honest with you. Bro, and she grabbed the fucking bullet, bro. Oh my god. Yo, I, I love Jujutsu Kaisen, bro. It's one of my favorite anime. Oh, yeah, this is. Oh, my gosh. This was emotional. When I saw this, I low key teared up, my boy. It's a moment that sent some shivers down my spine due to how strong and well done the acting is in the scene. I guess it's about time Jujutsu Kaisen joined the ranks of Battle Shonen with such heart pounding moments. Of yes, bro. Jujutsu Kaisen has. I prefer to. You literally see Mahito talk big game, but run tail bro, between his I feel like Jujutsu Kaisen is better than some of my hero fights, in my opinion. This is an anime protagonist who's not to be messed with. I didn't see this coming, and probably a few of you didn't either. This has got to be up there for an updated top rage moments in anime. Yes, yes. Use your head button, head button the crap out of the board, bro. I was like, man. 
bro. Oh my gosh. He, yeah, he's gonna do the spin around kick on his mitt, bro. It messed his face up. Oh my god, bro. This is beautiful. This is just how you do it. This is so badass, bro. This is so freaking badass. Damn. Our next moment comes at the end of the first half of the series. The decisive battle against Mahito. Nanami and Yuji team up in the former second major fight against Mahito. This time he's joined by a very... Yo, when I first saw him, like, yo, how are these boys going to pull up? Which I think deserves a moment of its own. The previous Nanami and Mahito fight was a showcase of Nanami's powers and meant to build hype for him. This time it's Mahito's turn as we get to see the full display of his new abilities and they're exactly as scary as they sound. He easily handles both Yuji and Nanami Yeah, he was a psycho. This man was speaking. Psychotic or some shit, bro. Yeah, when he had like the hands like and like throughout the mouth and shit, and then it, it, all the hands just kind of pop up all over the place, bro. That shit was scary. That was scary. Like it, it, his his fighting ability, like, fighting abilities was just like very unique and just very different. I've never seen something like that before. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this one. signs pointed to Jujutsu Kaisen having an epic climax to wrap everything up and we march towards our top end with the recent moment of Megumi using domain expansion. One thing I really appreciate with Jujutsu Kaisen is how it utilizes its main characters and gives them a lot of shining moments. We bro, that rap, bro. And that's, bro, and that's, and that's, I'm sorry for Paul, but that's a lot of things that anime even like struggle with today, man. Utilizing its main characters. That's something like that my hero struggle, like my hero struggle with, Naruto struggles with all the time. Jujutsu Kaisen, they grab their main characters, like Panda, uh, my man's, um, Magu who's the dude with the black hair, Magumi, uh, I forgot his name, my, my guy right here, my guy right here, Magumi, uh, uh, the girl, what's her name, hold on, Yuji's one of them, Gojo's another great character, bro, the P Panda's another great character, bro, they use their main characters and they utilize them to the full extent. Like, like, no matter what fight they're giving, there's no freaking uh, uh, nerfing them. They give them, or they make sure they use these characters. That's a lot, and that's something that most anime freaking struggle is utilizing their main characters and everything, man. And Naruto is a big example of that too, man. You know what I'm saying? As a Naruto fan, like yo, especially in Shippuden, bro, man. But Jujutsu Kaisen, that's what. One thing that Jujutsu Kaisen has, has a lot over other anime is utilizing their main characters, bro. I'm telling you, man, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, bro. Um, like you can't, you can't knock that, man. You just can't. <clears throat> but um. Yeah, that's one thing. Yeah, that's one thing they, they do really well. Like Demon Slayer, but back in my day, it was usually moments from a character. I already talked about this briefly a while ago, but here we are, the highlight of the 23rd episode of the series. Episode 23 of the anime shows off Megumi busting out his epic domain expansion, Chimera Shadow Garden, in the battle. Okay, I, I did not see this. It's a technique as soon as I'm not on episode 23 yet. I'm not on. I'm on. Uh, it's kind of like, 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 like I'm not. It's kind of like I don't care. I'll probably still be hyped about it. Seeing the technique in action. The thing is just insane, and it looks a hundred times better than it did in the manga. Mappa really outdid themselves. Yeah, I still need to watch the Jujutsu Kaisen manga. I don't want to say manga. manga. I was stuttering with my words. You're like, bro, looking at this, like, really gets me hyped up, man. I'm not on episode 23. Bro. Oh, yeah, I'm not on episode 23. 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 Yeah, I'm not on
I prefer just you guys to work when they're together. Play, bro. Of course, oh an epic is complete without the finale of both Yuji and Novara finishing off their respective opponents in such a cool way. This battle is just as cool with respect to showing character growth and the chemistry the main trio have with one another. Yeah, because like you know, back in the beginning, they had no type of chemistry. <laughs> Bro, I, I'm gonna be, yo, you best believe your boys be marathon of two times some more, man. Oh, yeah, Gojo versus Jogo. I remember this one. Yeah, I, I oh my gosh, bro. Gojo just pretty much owned this fight, man. A.K.A. the fight that collectively broke the internet for a while. Of course, it finds itself so high on the list, as it is, in my observation, the episode that helped Scott... Bro, like, they, this is probably one of the best hand-to-hand -hand combat and fight, like, for, for that a little series, bit. Even though it was so short, the hand-to-hand -hand combat is just one of the best hand-to-hand -hand combat I've ever seen in anime. But, yo, Gojo just owned that fight, bro. He owned that fight. He, he, he was controlling... He, he was controlling Jogo that whole entire match, bro. He controlled him. Look at you, saw he just stuck behind him. Bro, one of the best, best, bro, moments in anime, bro. The way my man's goals is stuck by the whole entire fight, my boy. Yo, remember, remember when he was all like, y'all remember when, when, uh, Remember when Gojo was telling, uh, uh, remember when, who, remember when Gojo was telling, uh, my man, he was telling Yuki, you, he was telling Yuji, my, I call that nigga Yuki, he was telling Yuji, um, saying like, yo, yo, Yuji, this nigga weak, he is weak, you, uh, Yuji was like, weak, he's weak, I fought, I fought monsters, that's weaker than, like, that's, that's weaker than, like, uh, no, what did he say, what did Yuji say, Yuji was all like this, he said, I fought monsters, that were really weak, but this guy looks very like this guy. This guy can't be weak. He's strong. And Gojo was like, and then and then when Joko started powering up and stuff like that, he was powering up and everything. Gojo was all like this. He was like, uh, no, no, no. Jogo was powering up, and then uh, Yuji got scared. He was like, uh, what the heck? What's going on here? And then Go uh, Gojo was all like this. <laughs> Don't worry, Yuji, stay right next to me. I got this shit. Yo, he was so confident. Called him. Jogo was like, you nigga motherfucker call me weak, young boy. Oh, nah, that's a fade. That's a fade, my boy. And then Yuji, my boy, he was, uh, yo, he just dug up. Yo, yo, my man, uh, Goji, he just dug up in his butt. He controlled that fight the whole entire time, boy. Damn. Kick his ass, bro. Yo, tell me how that reminded me of uh, Ichigo's Hollow Form. When I saw that, man, I actually saw a clip of this. And I'm telling you, when I first saw that, it reminded me of Ichigo's Hollow Form. I don't know why. Like a steroid version. Bro, the Throughout movement the is just event, so beautiful. Has taken on quite the role for our upstart hero, Yuji. That's bro, such a joy I would love to play a Jujutsu Kaisen game Hanami. for PS4 for consoles, bro. Uh, Cyber Connect 2 developing it. I would love to play Cyber Connect 2 fight as he refuses to take a backseat to Yuji in the battle against such an incredibly durable and bro, did you, yo tell me yo does that remind you of uh Ichigo's hollow form of growth is the formula to create a winning moment I'm sure that this fight also caught the hearts of Jujutsu Kaisen fans worldwide it's such a thrill trying to see how the chemistry between mentor and pupil holds up against a seemingly unkillable foe the fight is great and all but it's just unfortunate that in bro Yuji's probably yo, he's my favorite factor, character man I, I know he's the main character by the very next moment on our right. list. He's my favorite character, man. Like, the development, like, I see him go through, like, him almost dying, and then having him talk to the evil, uh, evil, uh, well, I call it a demon, using everything, working things out, coming back to life, his grandfather dying, and him trying to overcome that, and stuff like that, like, yo. Gojo finally joins the battle to put a climactic end to the Goodwill event arc. The whole arc's been a pretty nice take on standard Bro, shonen I, tournament I think slash battle royale arc. Now, I know we talk about, like, next Naruto. By an invasion of enemy forces. When all hope I feel like, I know I'm probably just going off of, like, adrenaline and hype right now, but I feel like we talk about... All Might arriving at the end of My Hero Academia's first part. However, I personally think that Gojo's appearance here trumps that one. I mean, just look at the guy... Yes, but yes, bro. Listen, Gojo, bro, his techniques are way better than All Might, bro. 
bro. I don't know what the, I'm gonna keep it. I don't know what the heck he just said about all my. But all I know is, yo, I thought it sounded like he said uh, he, he's, he's over it all my in terms of just like breaking a parent. I'm like, yeah, he is. I prefer uh, Gojo over all my any day, bro. Mentor, all that, bro. Cause he's a mentor, bro. Usually. Yes, bro. I know we talk. I know we talk about like next Naruto. I know. So, oh, what's gonna be the next Naruto? I know they say my hero, next Naruto. And that was the thing that people were saying like for a long time. Like Naruto was gonna be next. Naruto. No, I feel like if we're gonna talk about next Naruto, and then I'm talking about that next big hit. It's just, just guys, I'm sorry. I'm not probably going off hype in general. Yes, I am. Most likely, that's the end of the video. All right. I did not mean to do that. Stay awesome, and I'll see you next time. All right, my man. Good video, bro. But um, yeah, I think I think uh, off of hypeness, I know I know I'm probably going off of hype and adrenaline right now. But I think if you want to talk about like next Naruto, I really think Jujutsu Kaisen is is right there. It has potential to be the next that next shonen hitter. You know what I'm saying? Because it. It just has that feel with it. Because I'm watching, like, yo, this really has, like, a Naruto, a Bleach-type feel to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this reminds, like, Bleach. Some part, yo, with fighting, I feel, yo, and I love Hunter x Hunter. I think Hunter x Hunter is probably, like, the greatest anime of all time, in my opinion. I love Naruto. I got it even, I guess I got it tatted on. I got the freaking Hidden Leaf Village tatted on. Yo, so that motherfucker called me a casual. Will <laughs> called me a casual? Nah, bro. I got the freaking Hidden Leaf. Hidden leave uh symbol tag on my forearm, man. I ain't no damn casual. I'm about this anime. So, yeah. <laughs> uh yeah, but anyway. Um, so I'm trying to think. Yeah, I feel like yeah, it has like a freaking and I think I love Hunter X Hunter. I think Hunter X Hunter is probably arguably the greatest anime of all time. I won't push it out, 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 on that top on that bar yet. I think this anime like I think Death Note, Code Geass. Uh, uh, Kogi Eyes, Death Note for sure. Um, what else would I put up there? I think, uh, I would say maybe, maybe Full Metal Optimist. I don't know, Brotherhood, but I think, I, I think Full Metal Optimist and, um, I think, uh, Full Metal Optimist and Hunter X Hunter are kind of like neck and neck in a way because I think, bro, Brotherhood and Full Metal Optimist is freaking amazing. Uh, what else would I put up there? I say, I don't know. Uh, Cowboy Bebop, Samurai Shampoo is up. I say is up there. Attack on Titan, bro. Attack on Titan. Don't even get me started with Attack on Titan, man. Uh, uh, Fully Cooley is also really good. Uh, I'm trying to think, what else? Gorilla Gun, maybe. Um, but definitely animes like Death Note and Kogi Eyes, I put up there. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah, that's it. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, I think, Jujutsu you guys, it has potential. How long are we going? Yeah, this is, this is almost 24 minutes. Oof. Uh, yeah, I think Jujutsu guys is definitely up there with, like, a lot of, like, you know, can be, with a lot of anime this generation. I feel like once I'm on next Naruto, I feel like this is a strong case for it. I prefer, and I feel like some fights for, uh, Jujutsu guys are better than some Hunter x Hunter fights, in my opinion, because the anime it has that same type of animation style, that same type of uniqueness. Because Hunter x Hunter, like it has so much like unique uh, fighting moments in that anime. It was like with terms like hand to hand combat and everything, or like different crazy attacks, explosions. Like it has so much uniqueness to it. So it's like I don't know. I, I put this next to some good Hunter. I'm talking about maybe like my man's. What was my my old head? Who was the old head that fought met him? Uh, my man, he, and he died while freaking, he had his arm chopped off, leg chopped off. What was it? He had like the ponytail, bro. What was his name? I can't remember that. I cannot remember his name. 
Uh, I put that up there with that. It'd be gone versus when gone was going on freaking uh, adult gone and shit. And he went up against, I forgot the boy's name. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, like stuff like that, man. Uh, maybe. Because uh, Kaiser has, has hitters. They have hitters, man. I'm telling you. But anyway, I, I, that's enough me rambling, man. Let me know in the comments down below. You guys think you guys could be the next Naruto? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like, comment, like, as my phone goes off. Drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video, man. It's your boy, MGH1, a.k.a. Maj Marcus, a.k.a. King Marcus, the anime bad boy. Out this bitch. Bye, Z. It's a long video, too.